Okay. Uh, post drawing AM here. I just remembered something. A screen cap I took when I rewatched episode 8 yesterday. In which Nagisa said, if I were a boy, uh, Yuki Shiro san, which, which is uh, Honoka, is the type of girl I would like. <laughs> nice! Yo, Nagisa. I guess I like Sonica. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> I'm convinced that they just wanted it to be game the whole time. You can't convince me out of it now. <laughs> it's been almost like two months since Pretty Cure went off air. And it kind of went on a cliffhanger. Yikes. Oh, no. And at first I thought it was more because... Of, of like changing studios and I will be back quickly but mm. so because of that uh, I started re-watching so daddy was pretty cute and well I've been meaning to like get through the rest of the daddy was pretty cute re-watching the first season so I can actually see the second season because I never saw the second season I watched well, okay, how I watched the Daddy Wild Pretty Good to begin with, I watched it ten years ago as a kid on TV, and then it, it quickly got taken off the air, and I was curious, and then I watched it, like, uh, on YouTube in three parts. But I never bothered to, like, get into Pretty Cure at that point, and I only got into it later, so I never had... Like, I wouldn't consider Futari Wa Pretty Cure my entry level in into the franchise, but it was the first season I ever saw, and oh no, I really don't know how to draw Nagisa's hair. Uh, like, I got into Pretty Cure with, after I watched, like, Doki Doki and then all the other what, later seasons for the most part. So going back to Futariwa after so long is tr trippy because most of my perception of this franchise was like based on uh, the all-star movies and the pictures of them in those. And they're s they always seem like super duper close, super duper bond, like strongest pair Strongest couple in the universe. Look, like, look at their out, their outfits. Black and white. Uh, these very holding hands. They look like a, a bride and groom. They have this like almost romantic. I'm just gonna say romantic. They, they seem like a couple to me. A perfect couple of heroes who love each other very much. And they see, and I would imagine that they were like best friends, pretty early on. Like most season, pretty good. It's like characters like become friends pretty quick in the series. But uh, to my surprise, watching the first few episodes, Hona, Honoka and Nagisa. Okay, uh, here's Nagisa, Honoka. Two of them. We're like not even not even like they were enemies or like oh we're opposites uh, uh, hence we fight and bicker stuff. It's like they're so different in mentality and mindset that they were just like I don't get this girl, but I guess we're put together because we're we're a superhero team and we have to hold hands to transform and fight. So they get a, they go many episodes without even being actual friends. <laughs> They're just like former colleagues, allies, co-workers, and call each other by their last names up until episode eight. And episode eight, ooh, such a wonderful episode. Ugh, so good-looking and, and fun. The whole premise, okay, 
basic premise of Epsa is uh, I would describe it as I guess Honoka learns that Nagisa likes her childhood friend. Which I forgot Nagisa had a crush on a boy on that show, but whatever. Um, so she finds out that, and she's like, oh, huh. I don't, she can't relate to, like, liking anyone, but she's like, oh, let me help. Um, I'm gonna try to introduce her to, to my childhood friend. And, like, she does it, but she does it in such a way that's, like, kind of, like, Embarrassing because she doesn't understand it. It's just like, oh hey, you wanted to, to meet him, right? And she said in front of it, and he's, and she's like immediately embarrassed and just like, ah, uh, uh, and then like runs away and is like upset. And a lot, of, and the whole episode is just kind of them accepting that they're very different, and while they don't understand it, they can come together they can try to understand one another's feelings even though they think in entirely different ways <laughs> and then by the end of the episode Nagisa calls Hanukkah by her first name and it's like oh cute and uh, okay the first thing I love about this episode other than like everything about the story oh my god the directing this Episodes directed by Takuya Igarashi, and if you don't know who that is, he is the director, the series director for the most part, for Ojimajo Dorimi. He, he's, he's considered the director for every season. Uh, he also did Oran High School Host Club, I think he did Soul Leader. He also, he was... Uh, episode director on Sailor Moon and eventually the series director on the last season. He's a great director. Wonderful. And oh god, this episode's very like Dory Me in the jokes, the visual gags, the way his characters make certain expressions are like straight out of Dory Me, just straight out of it. Like <laughs> the way characters move. Sometimes they have like do the jokey kind of thing where it's both a budget thing, but also, like, a comedy thing where you have, like, the character who's just, like, one cell of animation, one drawing, and then they just move it. One, because it looks funny, but also it's a great way to save money. <laughs> Which I love. That's my favorite thing with anime those times. Uh, appropriate cheapness. That's That's my favorite thing that happens in anime and there's just like this one part where Nagisa is like uh doing tumbles like she's like curled up in a ball and just rolling so they just take this tr one dry of Nagisa curled up sideways and just like spin it <laughs> and and they'll do things like make things like zoom like certain parts uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Other, I might add references. Whatever, this episode is funny. He's also really good at drama, and this episode is that. It's the first fight between the two, and the first time they create a bond between one another and, like, open up. It's super neat. And I think, uh... I don't know what's my favorite part even to talk about. I think I love it the most because at the end they have like Oh, write down like just like Dory Me, it does it managed to make a really emotional scene based off what is I'm assuming a toy. Which is the diaries with like the secret you you need like a light thing to see it. I'm assuming that's a real toy. And they accidentally, like, take each other's notebooks, and they read them, and they're like, oh, uh, it, they write in completely different, I, lo I love it, because I don't know how well you can tell it by the subtitles, but you just, like, hear 
Nagi says, like, notebook is so simple and basic, and she talks about, like, some shit. <laughs> and Hug is just like, oh, she, she's nice. Aw, cute. And then, uh, Nagi says reading Honoka's notebook, and it's just like, why are you using so much kanji? <laughs> and I never... I love it. And you can, like, hear the difference in their, like, the way they talk, the way they think, the way they express ideas, and this drawing is gonna be fucking dull. Whatever. That's alright. And I'm zoomed in way too hard. You just hear the difference in the way they think, the way they express themselves, and the fact that the whole conflict was built on the fact that Hanuka didn't understand why Nagisa would be uncomfortable with it, and Nagisa did not know how to explain it. So they ended up arguing if Nagisa just uh, took was took they took the time to, to explain it to one another. It wouldn't this fight would have went on for so gosh darn long. And oh god, the fight the fight the actual fight fight in the episode is hilarious. Cause one oh god the the fight before they transform they had like actual good physics animation. Okay, one thing that I would dunk on the Daddy Wa for is the fact that sometimes characters sense of weight is fucking weak. Like, I don't know how to explain it other than characters look like they're on the moon sometimes and they're just instead of jumping, they look like they're floating. And sometimes Futaiwa messes up with the physics isn't a thing in the universe of Futaiwa. <laughs> but in this episode it is and they have like this one scene where Honoka Honoka walks in and it's like uh Zeken now come is attacking and Nagi says like watch out and then and then she fucking gets whacked by this monster, this tree monster, and it hits her with a, a, a like whips her with a branch and she like holds out her bag to like take the impact. It rips like her bag and like pushes her all the way to the other side and it looks genuine like that was like good physics right there oh my good that that was gorgeous that fucking that one thing and the funny part was like during the fight during the actual like transformation fight they're still arguing so they're like having it a fight while fighting <laughs> and they're like hey monster shut the fuck up we are having an emotional conversation right now could you not could you fucking not <laughs> it's just like what it's, she it's a and it's just like what the hell and then uh i don't know what else to talk about at that point then they end it and then they re read each other's diaries and then they're like, oh, I I think I get it. And at that point, they really start bonding as friends and start developing this adorable friendship and becoming more real with each other. And I like, I really love that episode and everything about these two characters. I like the fact that it took them that long to get them. To, to deepen their friendship and it made it much more it, it made their friendship way more deep to me than it was in the past like knowing that they sh kind of struggled to empathize with one another makes it much more a combination much more realistic but also much more satisfying and like makes it mean so much more knowing that they tried really hard to understand one another and they came so far to understand one another's feelings and that's the cute part that's 
That's the part. That's the part that I want pretty gear. I like, and got so many cute Nagi Nagisa Honoka moments. Like there's one episode where they're doing, um, what are they? Like cleaning chalkboard erasers, and they're dancing, and it's the cutest thing in the world. I don't think there's anything else to say at this point about Nagisa and Honoka. I just want to talk about that one episode. I guess I'm done, but mm. uh, this could be just a whole lot of me drawing for the rest of this video. Uh, do I have anything else to say? Is there anything else that could be said about the Daddy Love Pretty Care? Other than it's a delight and arguably now my favorite season? Question mark? Who know? Okay, I shouldn't move around so much when talking. Uh, conclusions. The Daddy Why Pretty Care. Based as hell. I love it. And I don't feel like finishing this drawing while recording anymore. Have a nice day.